Tammy. I'm back at you with a new tutorial today. Today I'm coming at you with a Valentine's makeup tutorial. This is a collab video with the beautiful Nelly Marina. She has the most gorgeous hair, girls. The most gorgeous ones that you would pay big, big money for. Um, so go check out her video. Check out her Valentine's Day look. And um, if you like my look, please like, subscribe, and I will see you in my next video, girlies. Oh, bleh. <laughs> I completely forgot to tell you, I have not made a video in ages because I have been moving house. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably know this. Um, I mentioned it a couple times. If not, I'm telling you now, I have moved house, as you can probably tell by the different background. I have my own makeup room now. I am just so happy i'm sure most of you follow jacqueline hill and she got a makeup room and she was talking about how it made her feel more organized more put together and you want to film that's how i feel i just i can't wait to film i wake up in the morning like yay <laughs> yeah so if you want to know how to get this look then just keep on watching girlies and please don't forget to like and subscribe if you do like this video um i used the carly bible palette to get this look just because it's a palette that most majority of people have so if you did want to create this look for valentine's you can because you most probably have the palette <laughs> so please like subscribe and i'll catch you in my next video and don't forget to check out nelly's video it'll be linked down below and her channel take care girlies bye so first you want to go in with a primer to make sure that your eyeshadows last all day and night especially if you're going on a date or if not, staying at home, make sure your eyeshadows don't crease because it's never a good look. Then going in to set that eyeshadow base with a translucent powder so it's not super sticky. And then I'm going into my Carly Bible palette, which is the star of the show today. And I'm going to be taking this shade right here. It's like a mauve pinky, yeah, nude colour. It's very, very blendable as well. I love this palette. Um, so yeah, I'm just placing that into my transition area and in my crease. Then going in with this darker shade, like this maroon dark purpley shade. And I'm going to be placing that on the outer and inner corners of my eyes. I'm kind of doing a spotlight halo eye today. Because um, that's very romantic out of all the eyeshadow looks that you could do. I love the spotlight eye. So yeah, I'm just blending that on the inner and outer corner. So now dipping back into the palette, I'm going to be taking this highlight shade and placing that on the centre of the lid. Just because I like the goldy, champagne-y tone of it compared to the eyeshadows, I decided to try this one. But I did add an eyeshadow colour on top later on in the video to give it that sparkly effect. Because this is a highlight, it is quite what is that word magnetic or reflective but it's not sparkly so yeah I place that in and then I'm going very lightly with my blender brush and blend in the inner outer corner then going in with my concealer I'm going to be placing this all the places that I want to highlight the face so down the bridge of my nose underneath my eyes my cupid's bow and chin and in between not in between my forehead <laughs> on my forehead Now taking my Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer SX11, I literally took one dot on my finger and look how far it's going. It is a, such a full coverage concealer. It's amazing, it's an amazing product. So yeah, I'm using that and then I'm blending it out with my Real Techniques blending sponge.
Now to set the concealer, I'm taking my e.l.f. High Definition Powder and Sasha Buttercup Powder. I've just listened back to some of my voiceovers and it does sound echoey, guys. I'm sorry, I'm not quite sure why. You know when you move house, you have to get everything together again, try to figure out what works for you, so that's what I'm trying to do right now. My lighting's all over the place in this video. It goes light, then dark, I don't know what's happening. And now my voiceover is echoey. This video might just be a disaster, but I'm going through with it. So I'm taking my contour colors now and I'm just gonna be contouring the face and then blending that out with the beauty sponge again. I'm just wiping away any excess buttercup and elf powder. To contour today, I'm using my sleek contour kit in dark and I'm going to be using my NARS dupe brush so this isn't the NARS brush but it's a dupe on eBay for like two three pound then I'm going in with my MAC face powder I believe this is NC50 and I'm going to be patting that all over the face to kind of marry the highlight and contour together so you can't really see where one starts and one begins Because my contour was looking really sloppy, I'm just gonna cut it out, carve it out with some baking powder. This is um, not baking powder, what is wrong with me? <laughs> with some Ben Nye banana powder. And I'm just gonna go back in with the Carly Bible palette and complete my lower lash line. So now taking this shimmery pink champagne shade in the Carly Bible palette, I'm going to be placing that on my inner corner. But then I like the reflection and sparkle so much, I decided to tap a little bit on the center of my eyes as well. Now I'm doing a very small wing liner today. You could just do no wing, but I didn't want anything to distract too much from the eyeshadow. So I just did a very small wing, a very thin line and nothing too dramatic. When I ordered from MAC, I got this sample of this mascara and I did not, like I used it and I did not like it, it was not great. But now, the more I use it, it's like amazing. And I'm actually thinking of getting the full size because it's really, really good. So now going into highlight, I did actually highlight already, but then I realized I wasn't recording. So I've already got my highlight and blush on, but I'm just retracing my steps for you guys. So I'm going in with that blush and the highlight that you saw. So for my lip liner today, I'm going in with this lip liner in the shade 02. I, it was a pack of 12 that I got from eBay, really cheap, but as you can see, really pigmented and really easy to apply. Not like, you know, some lip liners are really dry and it hurts to apply. This one's really creamy and it goes on really easily. Then going in with my City Color B Matte Lipstick in the shade Cami. It's like a purpley pink shade and I thought it just goes perfect with the eyes so yeah I went in with that plus it's a MAC lipstick without all that drying um, shriveled up feel on your lips so here is the final look girlies so this is the final look girlies I love this look it's so girly and pretty and perfect for Valentine's so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial please don't forget to check out Nelly's video it will be linked down below and please don't forget to subscribe see you in my next one girlies Bye.